get some shout outs real quick before we get started. Uh, those that have tuned in, go ahead and like uh, the video, uh, share it one time, um, and drop a comment. Let us know where you at. Shout out to James. Uh, Malone was good. Courtney Zunai was good. Was good. What's up? What's up? Our viewers, Daisy, Angel, Salinas, five six. Shout out to the Valley. I got this new thing uh, at the top now. I don't know what this is, but it's like a little star. I don't know what that is, but I, I think I got offered. Uh, I don't know if people could like put bonuses or something. I don't know what the fuck that is, but crazy shit. I guess because I've been active on my videos. Oh yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. Shout out James Malone from the two ten San Antonio. Say town, say town. Smoking on over there, bro. Oh man, some of this, some of this, uh, some of this, some of that, you know, a couple of different flavors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, a little mixture. A little mixture, a little, little, little Smurfy gumbo, you know what I'm saying? Smurfy gumbo. <laughs> you know, you know. So let's go ahead and get it started, man. Um, so yeah, man, you know, we go way back, you know, I kind of wanted to just uh, interview you. What I'm doing right now is I'm going... Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, in interview pretty much everybody we fuck with across the country. Okay, and, okay. You know what I mean? You chopped it up last night, so I was like, it's only right to bring you bring you on the show. You feel me? Yes, sir. You know, we've been at it for a minute, man. It's my, y'all don't know, this is my brother of another color from another mother type shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we, 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 we go back, 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 like back, 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 back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, so we, we, me, me and Smurf, for those that don't know, we went through the struggle together. You know, we've been down for many years. We've been toured all over the country. Yeah. We did a bunch of shit, you know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of history, you know what I mean? Um, music, all kinds of stuff, man. Um, let's talk about, you know, when, when you first started off in the rap game. Um, um, how, how did that go about? Oh, uh, man, it, that was. That was uh, a long, long time ago. So my my first introduction actually to a professional CD and everything like that, I was with uh, Chop Kings, which was a group that uh, my people uh, uh, started. My boy Juju, you know, shout out to Juju, my boy Carlos Gallegos, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, shit, we, we, we uh, had a little group that, uh, with 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 uh some people from my school, you know. Shout out to my boy Diego too for 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 lining everything up. He was the reason why we came over there to go fuck with Juju, cause we was at the school at Sam Houston High School. Shout out to Sam Houston, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, we had a little group called PMY Player Made Youngsters. Me, and my boy Paper Flow, and my nigga PT, you know what I'm saying? And we was, you know, doing our thing, lunch table edges and shit like that. So he introduced, he gave us a, a invitation to go to the to the studio to go meet Juju and shit. Once once we once I went over there, basically the, it was a wrap. You know what I'm saying? After that, what the fuck is my lighter at? But yeah, man, that was my first introduction to my first professional CD was uh. The Kings are taking over, I believe. Chop Kings, the Kings are taking over. Uh, I think we pressed up like that was back back in the gap when niggas was pressing up CDs from the tower and shit, putting the uh, uh, graphics on the front of the CD and shit, and going to mash the gas on them and shit. So we y'all was uh, drawing on covers back then or, or what? shit. I, I we well back then we actually had uh, a nigga on the south side we used to go to. And the nigga had like a uh, a CD that put the put the like black black the black ink on the top of the CD. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? It it actually looked like a a, a real lit CD or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, so so let, let's talk about going from there to uh, uh, you you dealing with some guys from the Swisher House. Like how, how did that happen? Okay, so yeah, like uh, basically, it's a 
it's a kind of funny story, but she like, so I was like I say, like I was I was the young nigga, you know, in the mix with a lot of the OGs, cause my boy Juju, uh, like I say, shit, he 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 was uh, always uh, doing things out there with run your mouth and and shit like that back when Big Tiger, Big Pig had their own shit going on, you know what I'm saying? So uh, he would go to this place called Thug City, which was over there on Jensen, off of Jensen with uh with with Tubby, with Coderola, basically. Wow. That's where like all the OGs would come, everybody come put their music at Thug City. Is that, it was, is, that, is, that, is that the same Tubby, the one that, that's on the freestyle? It's the big yep. truck, the mo's gonna love me. Yep, 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 that's the same big Tubby. You know, that boy Coderola, you know what I'm saying? And, and that he had that store, Thug City. So like I say, all of the, all of the whole Swisher House, Slim, Chameleon, everybody used to come drop their uh cds off at the stove so i i was always like the youngster over the you know what i'm saying in the mix with them and shit. so that's how i got my first introduction but then yeah. lester and archie you guys started freestyling when you met them or yeah yeah I, I was i was freestyling i was letting yeah, niggas know you know that that i was you know i was trying to let niggas know i was that nigga back then so it was every opportunity i got to showcase i was letting niggas know you know hey you know i'm, I'm that nigga so but once less than archie came to the chop kings because we we eventually had got a, a store uh juju got a store called the king's court it was on irvin irvington uh and it was on irvington and Bennington. you know what i'm saying it was like right next to a a, a little nail shop and then it was a, a hydraulic place right next door where they made the little little, little low rider cars with the hydraulics and shit. Right. But then eventually we took over this side too and, and like bust the wild down and had both sides. So yeah. both 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 of those sides was the, the King's Court. You know what I'm saying? And then Archie and Lester came to drop their greatest hits uh over there and shit. And we got a, a session in and like basically I freestyle them niggas for like an hour and shit and them niggas is like yeah nigga you you know what i'm saying so from from there uh lester started coming around a lot more you know what i'm saying my bro lester right he started coming around a lot more to the chop kings you know what i'm saying to get different things done from juju and whenever he, he would have uh projects that he was doing he would invite me to jump on so you know what i'm saying it was like a that's how the bun actually started you know what i'm saying then like i say from there uh we did a collaboration together uh lester roy and the chop kings uh presents past me my crime well we did we did one before that uh i forgot the name of that motherfucker though but we did one before that but then the major the the, the main one that we did that we 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 got the whole like cover pressed up the whole uh artwork done uh, a whole thousand CDs pressed up and everything like that. That was uh, passing me my crown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I was the and that's time. the one with everybody. I'm a uh, big tiger. I mean, a uh, big pig. Uh, blind side. Uh, Mike Jones was on there back when he was uh, Sashi the Long Ranger before he was Mike Jones. And him and Charisma, they had a, 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 a Ice Age Entertainment back then. What you know what I'm saying? Them? Yeah, uh, shit, it was a lot of people on the 50-50 twin shit. What, what did they call uh, Mike Jones back then? Uh, Sasha the Lone Ranger. That was that was Sasha that was his name back then. Ranger. But that nigga used to go the fuck out, man. Don't don't get it twisted. That nigga, used to, that nigga freestyle game was 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 off the chain like back then. You yeah. know that was that was one of the people that I'd be hearing like, okay, that nigga that nigga got some goat like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, I, I give him his cards. He definitely was uh, him and Magno together back then, or that was after mm -mm. the first time. Oh. Now nah, they weren't together back then. They weren't together back then. So, so who, who else was was around there around that time? Uh, uh, shit. Uh, you talking about with Mike Jones or, or just at, the, know, at the, the studio? Yeah, yeah, the studio. Yeah, yeah. 
Shit, we had we had everybody coming through there, man. Like shit, Slim used to come bring uh, cause we had the store, so we had our store too, the King's Court, where we sold CDs and uh, everything like that. And basically, I I lived in the store, so you know what I'm saying. I was there all of all the time, you know what I'm saying, all day, every day type shit. So that's where I learned like how to you know kind of like fuck with the chopping and shit like that. You know what I'm saying. My nigga showed me how to, you know, get down with the chopping and shit. So I be back there chopping shit up all day and shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, they, they used to come through the slim uh shit, uh uh all American assholes, the boom, them back then. Uh shit, uh man, everybody, like I say, everybody that was independent doing music that was actually on their grind mashing, they had CDs. They was coming to drop the motherfuckers off at the store, you know what I'm saying, type shit. So it was a lot hands on though. So it was like the actual people that would pull up to come bring the CDs <laughs> through the, you know what I'm saying? So I see them all, like like I said, I, I see all of them coming to drop CDs off and shit like that, you know? So, but yeah, I, I was able to get in the mix. Like I say, once we did that, pass me my crown, that was like an introduction to uh, everybody that, that that I was on that type of time. So from there, it grew from word of mouth from all of the members that from the Swisher House that I had worked with. They was, you know, that's when they started, hey, that nigga Smurf, you know, or whatever, and started getting me to jump on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I never actually, you know, like signed to Swisher House and no shit like that. I, I just was always in the mix with the OGs and you know niggas like that. They was my real niggas. So oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know a lot of them fuck with you real tough.